In this world, everything's changing. And our mind, our feeling changes with changing conditions. When we're born, everybody's happy. When we die, everybody's sad. Around, 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 non-stop. The name for this is the opposites world. Originally, nothing changing. No birth, no death. Everything's complete stillness. No happiness, no suffering, no problem. That's our original nature. Not only Buddha talked about that. Many religions also teach this point. We call that the absolute world. The world we all originally come from. In this world, birth is birth, death is death. Happiness is happiness, suffering is suffering. Each thing moment to moment is complete. If we attain this complete mind, Nothing is ever lacking. We call that the complete world. So, three kinds of worlds. Which means three ways we keep our mind. Opposites, everything always changing, changing, changing. Then many suffering. Absolute world is absolute mind. Our original nature is silent and still. Complete world, complete mind, each thing by itself is complete. Then everything's just the way it is. And moment to moment, nothing's lacking. One time I went into a bank in Seoul about 20 years ago. I gave the lady my debit card for my account. And I told her I wanted some ship on one. Then the lady did the things with the computer. Then she looked at me very shyly. She said, you only have some on one in your account. <laughs> I burst out laughing. <laughs> then she said to the Bolsonin, I never saw somebody laugh at having little money. <laughs> 
어, 돈을 얻는 거에 대해서 저렇게 기쁘게 웃으신 분을 처음 봤습니다. 라고 말씀하십니다. Have money? Complete. Have no money? Also complete. 돈이 있어도 모든 것이 완성됐고 Can we live? Can we live that way? That is the complete world. So, three worlds. Which world do you live in? Opposite world. Absolute world. Complete world. Which world? Today is Buddha's birthday. So many people in Musangsa and all over the world very happy. Are you happy? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> ah. So, number one world, function world, moment to moment. So how do we find this correct function world? We also call that moment world. Many billions of people born and die. Why do we remember Buddha? When Buddha, when Chakamuni Buddha was alive, somebody asked him, "Are you a man or are you a god?" He said, "I am awake." Uh, last night, everybody here, me too, sleeping. Then we woke up and did something and came to temple today. So what kind of wake up is that? Wake up to opposite world? Absolute world? Function world? Complete world? What world? What did Buddha mean? Awake, I am awake. What was he awake to? We're left from Buddha with a, a very interesting poem. It's called The Human Root. Coming empty-handed, going empty-handed, that is human. When you're born, where do you come from? When you die, where do you go? Life is like a floating cloud which appears. Death is like a floating cloud which disappears. The floating cloud originally doesn't exist. Life and death, coming and going, are also like that. But there is one thing which always remains clear. It's pure and clear, not depending on coming, going, life and death. Then what is the one pure and clear thing? So very important, what is the one pure and clear thing? But if we open our mouth and say something, already making something, not pure, not clear. 
So we say, if you look deeply into this question, finally you don't know. So don't know, we say this don't know is very important. Sung San Kunsanim's favorite teaching phrase all around the world was only go straight, don't know. <laughs> In university, if you don't know, you fail. But in looking into yourself, what am I? What is the one pure and clear thing? If you don't know, go straight don't know, you get enlightenment. How can don't know give us enlightenment? If you don't know, then listen to me, soon you'll understand. When you're thinking, your mind and my mind are different. When you cut your thinking, your mind and my mind are the same. Your don't know mind, my don't know mind, somebody's don't know mind is all the same don't know. Because the moment we don't know, that stops our thinking. Stop thinking is before thinking. Empty mind. Before thinking. So, when you keep don't know mind, 100% don't know, that's before thinking. Before thinking is your true substance. What am I? My substance is before thinking, before these words. Your before thinking is your substance. My before thinking is my substance. Somebody's before thinking is their substance. Then your before thinking substance, my before thinking substance, somebody's before thinking substance, this stick substance, the substance of the sun, the moon, the stars, all universal substance is the same substance. Even modern science says that. We are stardust. Everything in this universe appeared inside stars. So your body came from inside a star, which came from nothing. So all universal, everything is same substance, has the same substance. When I heard Sung San Sinim say that 40 some years ago, I remember thinking, I've been waiting my whole life to hear that. Uh, 
So when you keep don't know 100% that time, you are the universe. The universe is you. You and everything have already become one. We call that primary point. So don't know is not don't know. Don't know is a primary point. Primary point's name is don't know. But somebody said primary point's name is mind or Buddha or God or nature or energy or absolute or spirit or consciousness, or emptiness, or everything. So primary point has many, many names. Just like in this cup, Korean people say mul. Chinese people say sway. Americans, water. Spanish people, agua. Many different names. But this is not a name. Our true nature, just like this, is before <coughs> speech and words. So when you keep that mind, you and all things already become one. So today I have a question for everybody. Keeping don't know mind in your tanjun, okay? Not up in your head, not in your chest, in your tanjun. That time, this stick substance, the sound substance, and your substance, are they the same or different? Nobody any answer? They're the same. The same substance. Ice, water, steam. Name and form are different. But the substance is the same. Name and form only changing by conditions. So all universal substance is the same. According to condition, it becomes air, or water, or fire, or earth. It becomes a tree, or an insect, or a human being. According to condition, becomes a Korean, or American, or Polish person. A man or a woman. Substance is the same, only changing by conditions. If we attach to conditions, never realize our true nature. Then condition controls our life. Economic system, situation good, happy, bad, unhappy. Health good, happy, sick, unhappy. Do you want to be controlled, your mind controlled by conditions? Buddha 
pointing to our true substance. Not dependent on Buddha. Everybody has it already ourselves. So, stick substance, sound substance, your substance, same or different. If you say same, this stick will hit you. If you say different, this stick will also hit you. Because same and different are thinking words. But true substance is before thinking. Open our mouths already mistake. So my whole Dharma talks mistake. Ha ha ha. So how can we answer this question? Anybody who heard Sung San Kun Sanim's uh, uh, speech understands this. Stick, sound, you, same or different. Oh, hit. Everybody hit the floor. Good. Some people no thinking, just do it. Some people a little slow. <laughs> when you hit, already attain your substance. Buddha saw a star, understood his true substance. Last night, Unless you live in Seoul, maybe you saw a star. Did you get enlightenment? <laughs> Same thing. How much can we believe in our own original nature? So Buddha woke up to our original nature. Originally, no life, no death. Just a body changing. This is like a rented car. Someday our rented car get old, then we have to return to the universe. Now some people here are older than me. My, my car now, many little things broken, but luckily all little. <laughs> Everybody has that. Sometimes the big things broken. Can we keep our mind clear and comfortable even when the car is breaking down? That's what Buddha woke up to. Not special, same as us, but woke up. If we realize our substance deeply, then we can see clearly, hear clearly, smell clearly. Everything's the truth. Everything's complete moment to moment. Trees are green. Sky is blue. Clouds are white. Dog goes mong mong. In America, dogs go woof woof. We used to say, Korean dog, mong mong. American dog, woof woof. Polish dog, how how. Which one's the correct dog's barking? None of them. That's a human being's a barking. <laughs> if you want to attain dog's barking, you must ask a dog. 
Then you attain truth. Attain substance, attain truth. One more step. How do we use this moment's truth to make a correct life? Correct life always in harmony with all things. Then correct love appears, correct compassion, correct wisdom. Then good situation, bad situation, we can find a way to be, to live, that actually benefits ourselves and others, even in very bad situation. In America, today is a Mother's Day. Second, uh, second Sunday in May. So today is a, a, a Mother's Day. Very interesting. Yeah. A Buddha's mother only lived one week after he died, then she died. After he was born, then she died. Yeah, so many mothers here, so happy Mother's Day. Uh, when I lived in our Zen center in California, one Buddhist birthday I was invited to a Vietnamese temple. Then very interesting, as you entered the temple grounds, Somebody asked, is your mother alive or has she passed away? Then if your mother was alive, they gave a little red rose that you pinned here. And if your, if your mother had died, they give you a little white rose. Then you could see everybody who came, the Sanims, the Bosanim, Gosanim, had a white rose or a red rose. It was very touching for me. Of course, you could see each part. Oh, somebody's mother already died. Oh, somebody's mother still alive. It's a, a very some way really help my feeling connect everybody. Our relationship with our parents is first relationship we have in this world. So this Buddha's birthday, let's all consider our relationship with our parents, even if they're gone. With our mother, with our father. Have we made peace in our heart with our mother, with our father? If your parents are alive, there's still time to try that. Even if your parents have passed away, still can do it. If you make peace inside your heart with your parents, you, it will follow by itself naturally one day outside. 
그들과의 관계를 100% 소화해서 파악하셨다면 그 자체가 벌써 해탈입니다. This is the root. This relationship is the root of our life in the world. 이 부모와 관계가 우리 세상에 존재하는 And once we grow up, it doesn't matter what our parents did, good or bad, it's our responsibility to make peace in our heart with our relationship. If we realize our true substance, we can all do that very well. Even if we had parents who had many problems, doesn't matter. So one thing I hope we can take from Buddha's birthday this year is let's make an effort to realize our true nature. And we can learn to do that. That's what Buddha's teaching is all about, realizing our true nature. And this year, in our hearts, let's uh, each of us try to make peace with how we feel towards our parents. If we can do that better than any treasure we get outside. It's the heart of realizing our human nature. If people realize, if we realize our human nature, we can solve every problem in the world very easily. If we don't, then uh, in the future, many suffering. Even if the outside world is suffering, if you find this true nature in your heart, you'll be fine. So let's together do it. I read a poem from the morning bell chant. Vowing openly with all world beings. Entering together Amita's ocean of great vows. Continuing forever to save sentient beings, all beings. You and I simultaneously attain the way of the Buddha. Jata Ishi Song Do Na